Brain Bringers, and welcome back to another video. Now, this is a little bit different than my usual videos. Usually, I'm playing in one of my sim leagues, but I'm actually going to be bringing you guys tips today. Now, I'm a commissioner in one of my leagues, the YFYL League, and uh, you guys seen that, the Bills franchise. And I had somebody uh, throw out a question like, hey, man, how, how do I get better? Is there any, you know, certain things I should be doing or whatever? I'm just struggling and everything like that. And when I was uh, playing in my MSPA uh, league, my first league with the Jaguars, I struggled passing. Um, and passing is very hard. Running is very easy. It's very simple. It's low risk. But you're going to have to pass to be able to win games, right? And so I scoured the web, scoured the web, scoured the web, and I didn't find anything that was directly to lab with to help me become a better passer. Now, this isn't like guaranteed like touchdowns and guaranteed like you're gonna have to work at this, you're gonna have to practice at this, and you're gonna have to 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 learn timing and stuff like that too. So it, is, it definitely is a skill that you have to pick up, but you'll become a better player instead of just learning a few um, one play touchdowns or you know how to abuse the AI. You actually will learn how to make reads. So. The first thing I need you guys to do, or at least the requirement of this thing, is to have two controllers. If you have two controllers, you can you're able to go to practice mode and and actually is I'm just gonna pick the Eagles. That's fine. But for the defense, I at least want to pick a team that has a at least one good cornerback. So the Packers. That's fine. They have Jair Alexander, right? I'll put this on all Madden. Because that's what you're probably gonna be playing on as all man anyway. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna hit random play. A lot of people will come in here and just hit random plays and stuff like that. I, it kind of makes sense, but we're labbing right now, so we want to pick certain, certain. Now I've never used this playbook, so uh, don't get at me too much, okay? Um, but when you're playing in assembly, they're gonna probably have certain ones where you can't pick your playbook and stuff like that you, you're gonna have to go with the team's playbook for at least the first year or so so this is actually the flood plays on um, one of the most common plays that you'll use and probably one of the most common plays in most playbooks so i'm gonna pick pl flood play and that's uh what three wide receiver set so i'm gonna go here to my defense i'm gonna hit formation i'm gonna go to nickel and then i'm gonna hit lb for random nickel plays right so i'm not gonna know the play and before i even start i'm gonna respot the ball now why am i respotting the ball i'm respotting the ball a little bit further back and on the hash because typically you're going to be on the hash. It's going to be very rare that you're actually in the middle of the field in a game. Just That's how it works, right? So there we go. All right. So here's my play art, right? You see the flood play. Now I'm going to block my running back here just because the people in um, the CPU sheds crazy here. All right. And then I'm going to try to read the coverage here. Okay. Now there's different ways of reading the coverage, but right now I see single high safety which means that it's at least cover three or, or cover or man, right? Now, another reason why I might think it's men is because if you look at the formation, there are, if you look at the right formation, right side of the formation, you have a corner outside, another corner looks like head up, and then maybe the safety down here on Goddard. So it could be men, it still could be cover three. Now, when we're starting out, it's okay to, to check yourself and check your work, right? So I think it's either cover three or man, but I'm going to say cover one man because of how the how the alignment is on the right side. And then we're going to check the defensive side. Whoops. And it is cover one man. All right? So with that being said, I'm going to stop the ball. And I'm going to throw it. I think it's going to be open, which will be that out route. Typically, that out route is going to be open on man, especially if that corner is not that great. Come on again. Right, same play, okay? The defense is gonna change their play now. All right, so I'm about to run back again. Now again, this is that double A gap pressure look. Now, you see the difference? There's still guys head up, but see where the corners are aligned? They're outside leverage. Now, one of the biggest tricks to learning about coverage is learning where the corners and safeties align, all right? So in this play, I see Jair and I see the backside corner at the same depth. Right, they're basically they're at the same depth on both sides, right? And it looks like Jair's outside leverage, and it might look like he's outside leverage of um, Jeffrey there. And you see double high safety. So I believe that this is cover two zone because of the the way the corners are aligning, right? So again, let's check our work, and it's cover three. Now, they got me a little bit, but you might say, well, Don, you got it wrong. You're going to guess wrong on pre-snap looks, right? That's where it comes to learn. With the safety so now because it says cover three watch what the safety does he comes down so now i know that it's cover three now 
That was a bad pitch, uh, bad throw by Jalen Hurts, but that's okay. All right. So again, you're going to continue to do this. You're going to continue to do this um, until you get a good handle on it. Okay. Now again, they're at the same plane again, double high safety. Okay. So again, I'm thinking it's cover. It's cover two, right? It's at least a cover two look, right? So again, same play, right? The only thing that's a little weird is that this say or corner is in this area right here. He'd probably be a little bit more inside if it was cover two. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to go with cover two, at least pre-snap. So let's check our work again. Let's check. And it's cover three again. And again, like I said, it, that, that corner was a little bit weird. Right? But it's a cover three blitz. Okay? So, again, cover three. But, again, like I said, you're, sometimes you're going to guess wrong. But it's at least a cover two shell. And that's the biggest thing. Noticing that. Again, once you snap the ball, and we're going to go over this a little bit detail a little bit uh, later in the video. Watch the safeties. Boom. Safety comes down. Okay, I know it's cover three. The flat should be open. Boom. Come out in the cover the cover two shell again. Okay? So I'm on every single time I see this, unless they change it up, I'm going to assume that this is cover two, at least pre-snap. Okay? So cover two, we're still running the same play, right? Look at the defense. And finally it's cover two. The deep middle of the field is going to be open here. And then right above that hard flat should be open. So this out route could be open, right? Or the street could be open or the backside dig, depending on how those guys play, right? So I'm looking at the safeties. It's cover two. Out route's open. Oh, perfect. This is perfect. Okay, so I'm about to run back right now. So what you see right now is you see that Jair is a little bit further back than the corner on the left. I don't know the corner on the left's name, all right? But it, it could look like a cover two show. But typically, because this guy is further back, it's either going to be cover three or it's going to be that combination coverage of cover six or cover nine, right? So as of right now, I'm going to say cover three. Now, again, depending on how the safety is moving, stuff like that, but I'm going to say cover three, okay? At least that's the, that's the pre stamp read. And it's cover four. Okay, wow. So I haven't seen like this a little bit off, but it's cover four. Now, again, I'm wrong, but it's still similar coverage. The only difference is that you have deep four instead of deep three, but it's still a deep, a deep, not getting beat deep kind of defense. So again, I'm wrong, but I would notice, oh, can they stay flat? Bomb them. Now, everybody that be open. Yeah, he could, Adrian Amos played that well, but it's okay. It's practice. You're going to throw picks in practice. That's fine. All right, if I pass that outside or something, that maybe I get it. All right, perfect. You see the pre stat read here? I'm going to go around and make this so I get hit. So I have double A gap pressure look. Okay, it looks like Goddard is not covered. If he is covered, he's covered by that linebacker. All right, so this is definitely either cover three or, or man off the rip. Okay, again, cover three and man are going to look the exact, well, cover three and cover one, I should say, are going to look exactly the same. Right? Okay. Um, but because he's outside leverage and not head up, I'm assuming it's cover three, at least pre snap read. And it's covered, like I said, right? Because again, I, I felt like Goddard was uncovered, okay? So it's going to have to come out hot, which means it's probably good. Because again, I see the double A gap blitz and I see the, uh, the safety roll down. So I'm probably going to be able to hit my tight end here. Yep, hit my tight end fast. Learn what is going to be open against most coverages. And because I'm throwing to Jair's side, he's going to play things very well. Okay, so with this being said, all right, it looks like cover two to me. The only thing is, is that when we saw this look before with that, with that, uh, that other corner was head up against uh, Rager, it was cover three. So you have to keep that in mind too. As I said, it's, it's a skill, you're, you're developing a skill. It's not just like a money, a money play. So because we saw that, you know, I'm like, hmm, we saw this look before and it was cover three. So you know what? I think it's cover three. Okay, and it is covered because they, they showed us this look before, right? So it's the same look, right? So that's good to remember that. Okay, so cover three, throw the flash because he took that, uh, he took the in route or the out route. Boom, get, get a first down, right? It's that simple. So once you understand the coverage, you can break down, you can break down any coverage. And then it, if you know your coverage and you know your routes, you, you can kind of guess or kind of at least have a progression in mind to go through, okay. Cover three, the out route could be open, but if they if they if they uh, press them there, I got the I got the clear um, flat route right there all day. It's like cover two. Now again, we talked about this before, right? This safety or no, I'm sorry, this corner being over top of record has shown us in the past that it's been cover three, right? So because we see that, now we're going to assume cover three. Okay, so cover three. Oh, it's cover two. Okay. So, again, they show the same look, but different coverage. And that's what defenses are supposed to do, right? So, 
again, it's going to be cover two or cover three. I, I was thinking, okay, we saw this look before, so maybe it's cover three. With that being said, right, here's our play. Cover two, what should be open, you know? Go through these routes, right? So what should be open on cover two? Maybe that backside is, depending on how our user, how, the, how our opponent's user is, right? Um, the front side corner route, um, especially with Goddard going to the flat, that should pull that corner down, dire down. All right, and then we have the backside dig, which should be there too, all right? Keeping this route with Miles Sanders will attack that user. And typically, people either use the safeties or the, the, line, the middle linebacker, right? So depending on what we see, right, right there, an instant replay, all right? This is another way of getting better at passing is actually watching your plays over again. So if you complete the pass, right, let's see. Now, my, my eyes originally went to Deshaun's side, okay? Now... I see the fact that Jair is dropping back and not respecting Goddard, even though he was in a hard flat. You see, you saw that he was in a hard flat. He's not respecting Goddard at all. I could throw this to Goddard right here. I could. This is a good read here. Good progression read. This is what I call an ABC read, right? Because um, it's easy as one, two, three, right? So I, I look, my, my first read is to go big with Deshaun. He's taken away. He's in quadruple coverage. So I can go right here. Get like five to seven yards, easy, right? It's also what I'm talking about, learning progressions and actually teaching yourself how to actually make reads. Because again, in the MCS, most of those guys can't really read coverages. They just have certain plays and they do crossing routes and they're like, okay, who's open, right? That's why a lot of people will throw the ball away or get sacked. In a sim league, I'm in three different sim leagues, you have to actually call multiple different plays. You can't just hot route a bunch of people. So you actually have to have stock routes and understand what is open on what in coverage. So because we know it's cover two, right? Again, I'm, I'm Jalen Hurts. I got to be a real quarterback here. Again, I know it's cover two or cover three by how they've been lining up, right? I see this hit, these drop. I see the corners drop. Okay, so it's cover two. Deshaun's covered. Yes, Goddard's open. I can throw it to Goddard here. You also have the drag here too. But because I know the middle of the field was vacated, I saw it because of my eyes are good. I'm looking at it. Okay, the middle is vacated. I know in my head I have the backside dig. I have the backside dig. And the best throws and the easiest throws are in the middle of the field. Right there, backside dig. Trust my man that he beat him. Boom. Great catch with hands first down. Move the chain. Now look at this alignment. This alignment's a little funky. Right? Because you have somebody head up over Goddard and somebody head up over Rager, but then you have two corners on the outsides of the outside guys with a high safety. This is a little different, right? So I'm thinking pre snap read, again, pre snap's not always going to be correct. So you're always going to look at the safeties in the corners, right? So a pre snap read, I'm thinking, man, why? Because you have guys head up, you have Amos head up on Goddard, and you have a corner head up on Rager, right, with Jair, right? So that means that we have man coverage. That's what I think. Okay, again, here's our play, right? You see the, the linebacker is actually head up over Sanders too. So I think it's man, okay? Let's look at this. Oh, it's cover three, they got me, okay? But again, cover three or man, I called it. Again, pre-snap reads are gonna be always different, but I think it's man. I find out that it's zone, up in the snap, right? Cause I'm gonna back out of there, good. Okay, take the drag. Go to instant replay. Now again, my pre-snap read, I think it's man because of how they're aligned. This is a very weird alignment to not be man, but again, you are going against a user opponent who's going to try to baseline, man align, press, uh, shade down, shade up, all these different things, right? So sometimes your, your pre snap is going to be wrong. That's why you have to watch the corners and safeties to see what is the post snap read, right? So when you're post snap read, okay, so I thought it was man. I thought it was man, okay? I snap the ball. Those corners get out of there. Now, one way to tell that it's not man, and we're going to go over this uh, a little bit, a little bit uh, later in the video, is how the corners and safeties and linebackers play. If they turn their back and get out of there, it's man. If they are kind of like strafing and backpedaling and facing a quarterback, it's it's zone. That's one of the easiest ways to do it, but it takes some time to see it. So again, I think it's man. Oh, I see strafe. I see strafe. Okay. So now, in my, in my first three sets, I'm not looking at my wide receivers. I'm actually looking because I know my routes. I know the play I picked, right? I know I got a front or... Um, uh, on the right side, which I call the front side, um, I have a deep corner route, a quick flat. On the back side, I have um, a drag with uh, with Alshon, a, a like 10 yard dig with Rager, and I have a text route with my running back. So I already know my routes. I don't need to look at my routes. I know I know what, what my routes are. What's the coverage first? That's gonna dictate what's open. So my progression, I see the corners facing me. It's zone coverage, right? 
and they're going three deep. I can see it. The safety's in the middle of the field. The quarter's backing straight up. Okay. So what's open? The flats. The flats are open. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take the easiest throw in front of me right to the flats. Boom. Or to the uh, drag. Boom. Get me a good five to seven yards. Big wide receiver. He can take the punishment. Doing this. And you hear a second controller to show you the coverage. Okay. Another way to practice this is if you are in a sim league, they typically require you to stream. If they're requiring you to stream, watch some of your your uh, your uh, peers play. All right, watch the offensive side of the ball and try to guess the coverage. Okay, because after the play, they're going to show you, oh, they were in cover two, they were in cover three, they were in man. Okay, now I'm not going to use my second controller at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come out here. Okay, I know what I got. Right, I got the same play. Hmm, this is a little bit of a weird coverage, right? Because they're they're. It looks like they're at the same depth, but they're a little bit pushed back. So I think it's cover four. I think it's cover four. Um, now, I'm not going to look at the play, right? They backed all the way out. It looked like cover four. I could have been wrong. Let's see. So we're, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna guess, or we're going we're gonna to check. So I think it's cover four because the safeties are a little bit further back than they would be in cover two. And it wasn't. It was cover three. So I was wrong, but because cover three and cover four work similar, What's going to be open? The short routes, the flats. So Goddard, Alshon, Texas right with Miles Sanders, right? So I understand, okay, I was wrong initially, right? But because I was watching the right side of the field, I saw that I had two guys get out of there. And it wasn't man, it was zone. So I knew that they were playing deeper, deeper to short, okay? So yes, I was wrong on pre-stop and post-stop read, but because I understood the concept of the defense and I knew, and I was looking at the safeties in the corners, I knew that it was gonna be short routes were gonna be open, take the easy route right in front of me, boom, get a good five, six yards. Uh, okay, so it's at least a cover three look, right? I think this is a cover three look, but I think somebody's blitzing. Okay, I could be wrong. Again, here's our play. I think it's cover three. Yep, cover three. Oh no, it's man, ooh. Okay, okay, so because I thought it was cover three because it is funky like their, their lineup is weird and Amos wouldn't be allowing Goddard to, uh, to be covered by a linebacker or somebody's blitzing one of the two So their alignment's weird, right? But I think so cover three I'm like that's, that alignment's weird, right? And we've seen this alignment before and they call cover three The reason why I know it's man mid mid play is watch this I see somebody does blitz They both blitz off the edge, right? And what happens is you see them turn their back. And because Alshon's coming across, you see this guy sprinting towards the running back. Now I know it's man. You see guys sprinting to get to there. Boom. And see, look, backs are turned. So mid play. So at first they do a good job of, of strafing and kind of showing me their faces. But then once I see those guys sprint towards something, I know it's man. The only issue is, I think it's man blitz. The only issue is that Rager's uncovered. There's no way they're going to cover Rager with this outside linebacker there. But maybe they are. Maybe they're going to use the running back and cover the running back. So it's possible it's man. It's possible it's cover three. Let's see. It's man coverage. Oh, uh, now that dude was in the way. They switched something off. So let's see, right? So I know it's either cover three or man. But because he rolled down like that and they're stacked over guys, I'm thinking it's man. And let's see. Yep. Now you know how it's been. All right. I already told you guys. What does Jair do? What's the first thing he does? He turns his back to me. Well, if he turns his back to me, it's man. Automatically. And I saw that. I knew it was man. I knew that, yeah, Deshaun could probably toast him. Right. But like he's going to play that very well. So he's already, he's already covered to me. So now because I knew it was man, I knew Rager has a linebacker on him. Right. Now I think because of the route combination, there is able to make a play on that and, and maybe miles sanders is actually the better the better guy i didn't think that he would be so far back so that's just me not knowing the 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 combination of routes and that's something i would have to learn playing with this playbook right but again is that necessarily a bad read to an extent no because there's a linebacker on wide receiver i'm taking that every single time right we also have the drag here and that's because the safe the corner is outside leverage so it's gonna be hard for him to get over there that's open as well and then we have Miles Sanders against another linebacker. That's a that's probably a touchdown, right? And again, that takes time learning your playbook. Like I said, guys, once you once you get the hang of it, you're going like I said, you're going to throw picks, and that's fine. That's going to happen. But once you get the hang of it, you're going to be able to to start dotting up in games. And trust me, my passing has gotten a lot better. Um, 
So I'm gonna show you my favorite team, my Jacksonville Jaguars. Like cover two look. It definitely is. I'm gonna throw that right there. Dot. This could be a cover four, cover six look, might be cover three. Again, that's all my preset reads. Let's see the safeties. Looks like a, that cover, uh, so that was cover six. I called it perfectly, cover six. Now, let's watch the replay. Let me show you why I saw that. Again, you're not gonna be always able to guess pre-snap, okay? Now, the reason why I think it's that cover six, cover nine thing is because look how close these two are. These guys are very close, okay? Looks like cover four on this side. These guys are very far apart, right? He's way close to the line. Looks like cover two, right? Now we're here with Tyree. Oh, no, I can't, I can't, there we go. Now watch what the safeties do. I have one safety back straight up, almost to the middle of the field. The other guy go far to the, because he has, the, um, this safety knows that he has help on this deep fourth, right? So he has to get more in the middle of the field to defend kind of this fourth. This safety knows that he doesn't have any help over here, right? The weakness of this defense is in the middle of the field. The middle of the field, okay? And then he has a deep, or did he has a, the front here? So watch. So I, oh my bad. Let me go. Let me go back here. So because I see this, I see one safety goes in the middle of the field, but the other one's still backing up, going to his his right or left. I know that is that cover six look. Right, I see two linebackers in the middle. I take my initial read away. Right, I'm like, okay. He's probably not gonna be open, and then I see that the, the corner is kind of sitting. He's not traveling with Shark. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to throw to my man Cheesy because I know his route and I know he's gonna be right in front of that safety. But also, the linebacker has Chanel to deal with. He's not gonna be open there. And look, look what happens. Because Chanel crosses his face, he's a little bit slow to get there. I could throw it to Golson here, but why not? Look, you see, you see when the ball, you see when the ball's coming out. Doom, doom, doom. Right on my drop. Perfect quarterback thing. And I'm throwing it before he even breaks. Why? Because I understand the timing of the route. You see that? Boom. I know that if I throw it at that point, Ch uh Schober can't get there. Duke Deuce can't get there. That's a dot. Boom. Probably should possess catch that though. Okay? So what I'm gonna get at, guys, um, before we get out of here, is the fact that learning how to throw better in sim league rules and sim league style is going to take some time. It's gonna be a grind, 100%. However, learning how to read coverages pre and post snap will help, and then getting into practice mode and labbing with two controllers um, in the main menu practice mode, and then going to your franchise where you, where you, cause you don't have Tom Brady, you don't have Aaron Rodgers, you don't have all these great wide receivers a lot of times. You have a team that has to play around a salary cap, right? So you, you, have, you, you have your quarterback, you have your, your rookie wide receivers that might only have 90 speed, they don't have all these abilities. So you learn how they run routes, you learn the timing of the plays, and so you know, okay, on this play and this coverage, I know what should be open, what should be, and then, you do have to factor in for the users, okay? So player, you know, you might throw picks because of you forgetting about the user. And that, again, that takes time. Like I said, it takes time. But it's something that you can that you can work on that will make you a far more consistent passer. You will probably throw a lot less interceptions because you'll understand. You're still going to make mistakes. You're still going to, you know, all that stuff. I get that. But it's something that will guarantee you get better at passing instead of just having, you know, these certain hot routes that you can't, you know, that, that you can do against this one coverage because, again, in my leagues, you're limited to how many hot routes you can do. You're limited to how many hot routes you can you can do in uh, per game, and you limit. You, I can only make I can only call one play per uh, the same play once for a half. You know what I mean? So again, there's certain rules and instructions that we have in these leagues. So learning how to pass with stock plays and learning how to read coverages will make you a far better passer. Um, but again, it's something that you have to work on. It's something that you have to continue to practice at. And it's something that you, it's a skill that you have to, to develop. So if you're into grinding and developing new skills and, 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 and new abilities as a user, this is the video for you. If you want to learn how to one play touchdown people, I don't know how to do that. So it's not the video for you, man. But if you guys enjoyed this content, man, I really do appreciate you guys um, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that follow button on Twitch, like and commenting, man. Let me know what you guys want to see uh, uh, more tips. Um, to the trade of Madden when it comes to Sim League because this is what I'm really focused on, Sim League tips. So if you guys are in Sim Leagues and you have some questions or concerns how to get better at something, if I don't know, I'll find out and I'll put it in a video for you guys. Thank you for joining me, man. You guys have a blessed day.